what we're doing is we're defining our software in terms of small, singly focused, internally consistent, reusable, bounded contexts or batches of work. We're defining small batches of work so as to optimize for our teams along product or feature boundaries so that we can deploy them and evolve them and iterate upon them independent of other teams. When we deploy them independently, that, impl that implies that they're going to be separated by a network partition. That, that implies that these components are not in the same uh, sort of monolithic application code base. Once we've done this, right, we get agility, but we've also invited some new complexities into our lives. We've invited new problems, two big problems in particular. The first problem is now that we've moved into a world where uh, we have lots of small, singly focused, internally consist consistent, and uh, uh, independently deployed software, we have microservices. Microservices are independently deployed things. They're services that are stood up over the network. They're talking to each other. We have now lots of small, collaborating, com you know, communicating services deployed over the network. And we've, inv we've invited these two big complexities, two big pains. The first pain is how quickly, how quickly from, from product management to production, from zero to 60, how quickly can we stand up a new production-worthy service? And all of that implies, right? So think about that for a minute. You're going to have to stand up a service and, and care for middleware. You're going to have to set up uh, middleware and, and the environment. You're going to have to provision application servers, if that's still a thing for you. Uh, you're going to have to provision databases. You're going to have to manage DNS and load balancing and security. And even in the software itself, you need to care about observability, things like uh, health checks and metrics and heartbeat detection and so on that you can use to understand how the system is doing. You may need to care about security as well, right? This is something that often is a, a an application level concern. You have to care for all of these non-functional requirements before you can have one production worthy service. And if it takes a long time to do it, then you won't do it. I'm a big believer that we are all uh, products of the system in which we exist, right? If, if the system in which we find ourselves makes doing the right thing the hard thing, then we won't do it, right? It's, it's just common, uh, it's a common, it's human nature. Uh, we don't do things that are very hard. So if the right thing to do is to tease apart this functionality and, and then stand up a new database and then deploy that database, uh, then we should do that, right? Especially if it makes it easier to serve the business use case. If we're trying to do full text search, for example, we should be using something like Elasticsearch. Why, why wouldn't we? If we're doing truly interrelated data where the relationships and, and the uh, relationships between the different uh, uh, nodes have, have semantics, then we should use a graph database, something like Neo4j. If we're trying to store document data, then we should use a document database, something like Couchbase or, or MongoDB. And if you're trying to uh, store binary data, right, you should use something like S3 or, or, or Bitbucket or uh, you know, GridFS and MongoDB. I mean, for all these different use cases, you have clear candidates that are, that are proven and designed and optimized for these kinds of use cases. But it's so easy to just shoehorn all of them into, sorry, into an Oracle database, right? This is a big problem. Oracle's not the right choice. It just happens to be at hand. And if, and if it's hard to get the right choice, if it's hard to get operations to agree to help deploy and then stand up a, the infrastructure, and if it's hard to, to, to get a local environment that looks the same and, and get that all set up so you can develop, then you won't do it. Right? That's just human nature. Similarly, if it takes weeks to get new servers stood up, or months, heaven forbid, you won't do it. It's just easier to cram a new endpoint into the giant uh, big ball of mud monolithic application. Nobody will notice if there's a few new REST endpoints or SOAP endpoints or whatever, right? So we need to make it as quick and painless as possible to stand up a new service, to handle uh, all these non-functional requirements that we need to care about to be in production, yet which add no business value to our application, which are not uh, business differentiating functionality. That's the first complexity, is how quickly can we stand up a production-worthy service. The second pain, the second complexity, the same second uh, thing that we must address is, now that we've done this, now that we've done this and we've got lots of small collaborating services deployed over the network, we have a distributed system. We have a distributed system and we have invited the complexity of building a distributed system. We need to account for all the fallacies of distributed computing, right? We need to address all these. So today, what we're going to talk about are, uh, first, how to build production-worthy services how to address the non-functional requirements in building an application that is worthy of going into production. And then secondly, we're going to talk about how to manage that uh, implied complexity in building a distributed system. 
To address the first complexity, the first pain, we're going to use Spring Boot as a way of building production-worthy applications, and Cloud Foundry as a way of uh, standing up very, very quickly uh, all these sort of uh, in infrastructure and middleware and environment uh, uh, concerns that we have to care about, like, like DNS and load balancing and, and, and so on, and uh, scale up. Then we're going to look at Spring Cloud as a way of addressing the complexity implied in building a distributed system. All the things that we need to care about should service outages fail, should uh, rather, all the things that we need to care about should services fail or uh, services disappear from the network. Uh, 